Uh, welcome to day five, Marathon 5 completed for Kevin Sinfield. Change of location today, uh, headed over to Leeds. and a, uh, a trip into the unknown for Kevin, a course he'd never run before, but uh, as always, def defied the odds and uh, got, got it done in time. Uh, Kev, first of all, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm all right. Um, can tell I've done a bit of running this week. Um, <laughs> don't think I've had a, more than about five hours sleep, so... Um, if I look tired, apologies. Rob said that Rob, Rob actually said yesterday that I look really good on here, and I've just looked at myself in the mirror and thought, I look about. I don't want to say. How old are you, Eric? Uh, I don't I seventy one. Right, well, you look great for seventy one. I reckon I look really, really bad at the minute, and I look like a ninety year old. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hanging in there. It's it's it was really good today. Um, body's all right. There's some bits that are letting me know. Um, that is probably not a good thing doing this, but it is what it is, isn't it? So, uh, all good. How did you find the course today? Yeah, it was tough, tough actually. Um, you know, a couple of steep hills. So, I've been sort of put the one together around Saddleworth, um, which is quite a hilly course. There aren't any, there are some incline, but no, nothing as steep as probably what we did today. So, it was good. Um, Really enjoyed it. You know, the, probably the highlight was, obviously the highlight was seeing Rob. But obviously whilst I were out running, the um, the firemen on Kirkstall Road came out and and clapped us through, which were wonderful. So that were really, really kind of them. Um, but yeah, it was good. Looking forward to doing it again tomorrow. Um, it's probably a good thing we went to Leeds today because when I left this morning at about half past five, it was snowing again here, so... Um, thankfully we came to Leeds in the sunshine and you, you got to see Rob a bit earlier than you thought you were going to he, he surprised you yeah complete surprise um, do you know what I, I didn't even notice that the, the mural was there um, so we saw as we come around the corner there was a bus and a car in like a dual carriageway at the traffic lights so there was a bit going on and I was thinking well I just don't want to get run over here that was my first thought and then obviously mm -hmm. I saw a number of people and, and Rob were there. So, yeah, um, great to see him. And uh, in terms of how you're feeling afterwards, um, you, you ready to go again tomorrow on the, on the same course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, just, just get, go and get it done. Um, you know, I've got two to do now, so it's been, it's been a really tough week. But, um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. I've you know, got a good mate. He's a good mate of both, Rob. And myself, he'll run with us tomorrow in Jamie Jones Buchanan, uh, which I'm really looking forward to because Jones doesn't shut up actually. So, as we heard the other day, and it'd be great because we just talk uh, and talk and talk. Um, it was brilliant today to have JP alongside me for the first half, and then Gailey came for about four or five K, which was great. Um, really good company. Good to chat about uh, Rob and chat through some old time stuff. And um, yeah, that, that, that part of it makes the run go a lot quicker. I'll, I'll let people into a insight, a story Gailey said afterwards that all the time you were running with him, you just kept saying to him, just don't get injured, just don't get injured, watch yourself, just don't get injured. <laughs> You've just, you're already running your fifth marathon in five days, but you're already thinking about uh, the pre-season for Gailey. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm busted, does it? <laughs> so, um, it was brilliant he came out today, um, he wanted to show his, his respect for Rob. And I think it was quite fitting, I'd say, that he had that number seven on his back. Um, you know, he's, he is fully aware of what, what a great player Rob was. So, um, I think it was an honour for him to wear it. And speaking again, someone who knows him well, delighted to be joined on the call by uh, Oliver Holmes, who's doing his own challenge for uh, the M&D Association, cycling uh, hundreds of kilometres every day for, uh, for seven days. Uh, Oggy, great to have you on board. How's it going? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's going, it's going well. Um, had a couple of detours here and there due to Garmin error. I'm blaming the Garmin, not our ability to follow directions on it. But um, yeah, it, it's it, yesterday was probably the hardest day. Um, you know, it, it rained quite heavily throughout, and um, I was on my own, so uh, a lot of head noise going on <laughs> in that little um, trip. But um, better weather today. Uh, a lot better weather, and I think it's probably going to be the last of the good weather for, throughout the um, throughout the challenge. And um, 
we've ended up doing about 112k today <laughs> through through them uh, through them little detours. But um, yeah, it's going good. Body's a little bit sore, but um, yeah, we're getting there. And it's, I mean, we've seen on social media the, the outpouring of support for for Kev's challenge from across the game, and you know what you're doing as a as a cast player and supporter. Rob's great to see. Yeah, no, um, I've been wanting to do something for a while. I want to do something with, during the first lockdown. Um, I'm going to try and attempt a triathlon, uh, but I just couldn't find a body of water to do it in, and it just ended up being a bit difficult. So. Then the season started back up and there were no chance to do anything then. So as soon as we finished, um, obviously I'd seen Kev, Kev's idea and I thought it, it, it's a nice little nice little idea to, to sort of rob. Um, so I just sort of twinged it a little bit and put a little bike spin on it. And, um, and I thought, Could have run with me. <laughs> well, well that. I, had to, I had to get this okay from physio oh, yeah, yeah. doing a bit of running. Um, I don't think I'd have got a green light from the new running. Um, I can't say I'd be feeling as um, as far as, as you are right now. <laughs> now, good on you. Massive respect, Paul. It's brilliant what you've done. No, oh, thank you, thank you, mate. Have you? Have you uh, do you do much cycling anyway, Oggy, or, or is it is it been a real challenge for you in terms of uh, in terms of that sort of distance? No, I only sort of picked it up during the first lockdown. I was trying to figure out different ways. To keep fit, um, there's only so much running I could have done. So um, I was starting going out on my mountain bike, and there were people twice, twice my age, bombing past me on on road bikes. I'm thinking that this this shouldn't be happening. They shouldn't be going past me like this. So um, got myself a road bike and and realised that that that's the difference. Um, and just sort of been hooked on it since, really. So I do enjoy it, uh, but I'd only sort of go out to about 30 kilometres uh, max, probably a time. So. 100k is um, a big difference for me. I'd done it once before I started this challenge, and um, yeah, I thought seven days on trial should be difficult enough. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and you've got you've got two two days to go. Yeah, two days to go. I end up starting on the same day as Kev. Um, I ended up put the idea together the sort of morning of the grand final, so um, tried to get it started as quickly as possible. Of course, me me and my missus are going away on on Friday to Lake, so I thought. I need to get it in. It just happened to drop on the same day as Kev, which is quite handy. Yeah, great stuff. And, and people can find out details on the CAS uh, website, uh, how, how they can sponsor you. Yeah, yeah, just drop onto the CAS website. There's a couple of links there um, that will take you through to the page, yeah. Kev, it's, it's great, isn't it, that we've seen support from, from across the game, across the sport. We've got a message from Ron Nagara and uh, rubber union clubs across the Grove Grove showing their support for Rob. Yeah, it's been awesome. I think for the last 11 months, the support, um, the messages, um, the amount of people who've reached out doing different fundraising activity has been unbelievable. And that's when we're going through the middle of a, a pandemic for the vast majority of this year, when a lot of people are losing jobs and facing wage cuts. So, And are, are, are dealing with COVID as well. Uh, and how that hits their own families. So it's absolutely remarkable. I think, I think what all he's done is incredible. I think there are a number of clubs who have, have gone above and beyond and Cass have certainly done that. I think they've been classy and I know it's Rob's hometown um, and he never played from, but I think it's it's been re really, really classy. Yeah, fantastic. And talking of fundraising, um, great to have Eric and Michaela Frank on, on our call today. They're, they're from Wakefield, but big Rhinos fans and they've been fundraising for uh, for the MND Association for a number of years. Michaela, uh, great to have you on board. Firstly, Thanks for having what, us. What, what have you made of Kev's challenge this week? Uh, well, yeah, it, it's just awesome, isn't it? It's just bionic, really. It's uh, put us a little bit to shame though, Dad, haven't it? We're going to have to think big for the next time, really big. There might be a bit of a challenge for Sydney for uh, a sponsored swim, I think, next, Dad. But yeah, it's awesome. I just can't tell you how grateful people like my dad and us as a family are to you because it, it, the m and are just absolutely invaluable for us as a family. And I just hope you realise how much of a difference you are making. I mean, over half a million pounds, it's just, it's just inspiring. It really is. You should be extremely proud of yourselves. Thank and you. since, you, since your dad's diagnosis with m and how important for, for your whole family has been the m and Association? Uh, quite important, really. I mean, I think dads were diagnosed in July 2015, so we're five years down the line now. 
um, literally lost the ability to do everything straight away, lost his voice, everything straight away. Um, and we as a family, it, it's just devastating and it's not just dad, it's the whole family, it's his grandkids. Um, they're just, the support is fantastic. You okay? He's a bit emotional, I think. Um, the support is just fantastic and it, it's not just, we're quite lucky in a position don't get upset. We're in a position where we can, um, you know, me and my daughter live here with mum and dad. It's not like mum and dad are on their own. Dad's still six foot two and 17 stone and mum's still tiny. So, you know, we all muck in. It's not just that side of things for us. It's the emotional support and particularly for the kids mm -hmm. because they found it so difficult. Don't get upset. It's okay. I think he's a bit upset, Kevin, because you've raised more than what he has. <laughs> it's a challenge now. It's a, it's a personal challenge, this said, I think, isn't it? But the MND are fantastic. And for instance, the um, MND clinic that we go to in Leeds, I, I believe Rob goes there as well. They're just amazing. We would be absolutely lost without them. And they are funded by the MNDA. I think sometimes you can feel a little bit lost in the community. We go to the MND clinic, absolutely fantastic. It's like a carousel. Everybody is there, the physios, the OTs, the dietitians, everything. And then you come home from there and it's a little bit like you feel like you're on your own almost because there's not a massive amount of knowledge in the community. Um, so the MND clinic that the MNDA funds is absolutely vital for us. They, they are a lifeline because there are some extremely dark times with this disease, extremely dark for all of us um, and not just dad. And you're, you're a big... Uh, rugby league family obviously you, your dad's a huge huge rhinos fan oh mad rhinos fan yeah he is. yeah uh, when the efforts that that kevin and rob have, have made up down the on the field down the years you wouldn't have thought they could get much higher in your expectations but they've just notched it up a little bit more now what do you think dad do you think they've gone up a little bit in their ratings mm. yeah yeah we do we think uh, it, it's just awesome i mean We've seen some decent stuff on rugby field, haven't we? But this is just like nothing else. It really is amazing. I've, I've done a little bit of running myself in the past, nowhere near a marathon, and I just take my hat off to you completely. Mm. It, it, yeah, Dad's agreeing. He says it's fab. He's, he's, mm. We're on board. We've been watching every day. I'm banging it out there on Facebook as much as I can because I am so passionate about raising money for, for people like us and our mm. family. He approves, Kevin. He approves. Mm. <laughs> Brilliant. Great stuff. And, and we've got we've got Jen and Ian from the M M D Association with us. Jen, uh, it's been great to see. Mm. Just, just as Michaela's saying there, that the the whole M D community's got behind mm. this as well. When you look on Twitter, people who who maybe didn't maybe knew a little bit about rugby or, or didn't know about Kevin or anything beforehand, they they really uh, embraced this, and and it, it's been a great boost for them. Definitely. I think it, it means so much to everybody in the MND community. I don't think there's enough words or enough ways to describe how grateful we are and to say thank you. Um, it does mean the world. It's inspiring people who perhaps supported us previously but didn't fundraise or families who have a connection to MND who didn't do any fundraising but they've seen what Rob's doing, what Kev's doing and it's inspired them to take part too. And people are finding ways um, to fundraise and they're finding ways of linking it to the number seven. I've had a really inspiring and creative approach where somebody's doing um, the number of kilometers, which is I think the number of appearances that Rob's done. Mm. And he's doing it over a period of days, which is the number of awards that Rob received. There's so many different ways of linking it in and it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. And Ian, today, uh, Landmark, uh, part of the fundraiser we passed half a million pounds, incredible figure. And by a strange twist of fate, the moment we, we crossed past that barrier was the moment that, that Kev bumped into Rob in the middle of the town. You couldn't make it up. It's remarkable. Yeah, absolutely remarkable. And, you know, as we've heard from Eric and uh, Michaela today, you know, MND doesn't stop at the weekend. Um, so Kevin hasn't stopped at the weekend. His, all his supporters haven't stopped at the weekend. The awareness, the fundraising is doing an enormous amount, as I said um, earlier on in the week, in the fight against MND. Michaela mentioned the Leeds Care Centre. Um, the MND Association funds just over 20 care centres across England, Wales, 
and Northern Ireland, although the funding models for each one are slightly different. It costs about £60,000 for us to pay for the uh, care centre to coordinator to bring those multidisciplinary teams together um, that Michaela was mentioning so that all of those different um, um, skill sets can, can be together in one place to support people living with MND and their families. So the fundraising that's happening through through Kev's runs the, this week and all the other fundraising people like Oggy, what Eric and Michaela have done, all contribute to providing the vital care um, such as these care centres that people that people need week in week out as they uh, as they as they uh, undertake their fight and journey against MND. So thank you very much, everybody. Fantastic to hear, uh, Kev. Um, you even though you weren't on your uh, on your usual track in uh, in Saddleworth today, the the path was used. It was kept warm for us for for Monday. Uh, your, your lad Jack uh, was out there pounding the streets. Yeah, he's uh, a little bit worse for wear actually now, Phil. Uh, You're not giving him ice baths and he, recovery he, drinks and all this sort of thing? He, he does not fancy the ice bath. <laughs> uh, I am tempted to dunk him and just throw him straight in, but he's bigger than me now, Phil, so uh, he's likely to end up with me in the ice bath. Um, now, he's, he's done really, really well. So David, um, we mentioned it right at the start, David Spencer was going to... Um, run with us this week and do all seven. He picked up a calf injury a couple of weeks ago and those who've had calf injuries know that you just can't run them off. Uh, so instead, he has set off every morning at four o'clock and walked a marathon. And um, he's done five this week, he's completed his fifth. And uh, my eldest son, Jack, went with him today to give him a bit of company, but I think he's a broken man. Uh, but they, it's wonderful, it's, you know, they were out there, they were still getting beeps of the own. Uh, people coming out of shops and clapping them. Um, you know, everybody now in Saddleworth and Oldham recognises that vest and and understands exactly what it stands for. And and um, yeah, I'm I'm a proud dad as well tonight. That's fantastic stuff. Um, in terms of um, your your run today, when did it go according to plan? In terms of your time, we talked about the route and everything else. But in terms of where you wanted to be with your timings and things, yeah, I, th I think we probably learned a few bits from yesterday um you know we, we had started to go quicker and quicker but the, the problem with that is um the, the impact it has on you but also the challenge was to get everyone under four hours and it weren't actually the cumulative um amount of of running time that mattered it was to get everyone under four and and that meant that 359 was good enough so actually we want to run as hard as we can but we want to be smart and and I want to be able to enjoy it. I think we've put a wonderful team together of some really, really close friends who you're included in that field because I mentioned the other day, you've done an absolutely wonderful job, but we've got a great team. And as you've saw today, JP jumps along, Luke Gale's on there, and it's really nice to be able to run at a pace where I can still actually talk. Um, and, and it makes the case just go a lot quicker. And you know, I want to be able to enjoy this. I'm back in a team. It reminds me very much of uh, being alongside Rob and in that great team that we had and, and the banter we had and, and that's just we're, we're going through some really challenging times out on the road at the minute but trying to make them as enjoyable as we can and we had uh, Dan with us today they were, they were spending a bit of time with Rob the, the team from the, the BBC Breakfast crew with Sally uh, and the guys there and they've been fantastic supporters of, of the whole challenge well of Rob all year with, with Rob from, from day one uh, but particularly the challenge, how, how that how they've really supported that. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I think Sally Nugent has been absolutely wonderful. All at BBC Breakfast have, have been brilliant. Um, I think Sally's support of Rob in particular and the family has been wonderful. Um, you know, I went to sports to her last week about the documentary she put together for Rob, which has had well over 3 million views now. She said to me it was the greatest thing she has ever put together. And I think that's testament to Rob that He's right in the middle of that with his beautiful family and and um, the boroughs have captured the, the full UK, they've captured the world because it's it, it's an incredible story about an incredibly brave family who were willing to share and and fight. And, and for us as former players who, who shared that feel with him, um, you know, it's important we do our little bit to help. And it's, it's a great reminder about the whole family. And Jen, we had some good news on the family front. The, the Christmas card is back in stock. The Christmas cards are back in stock. And just to make it 
even more amazing. They've even had some helpers today help them pack the final cards before they go down to our distributor on Monday. Uh, Macy and Maya and Jackson were all helping pack the cards at the, with the Leeds Rhinos Foundation. Um, brilliant. I'm so pleased that they got to see the cards and even helped pack. Thank you so much. And they are back in the shop. Get them while they last. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be flying off like last time, I, I've no doubt. Uh, and uh, it's great to see it. Kev, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave the final word for today with, with yourself. Um, going through that, that half million pound mark and, and with, with two, two runs to go, uh, how, how much does that inspire you to, to dig? You're going to have to need, you really are going to need to dig deep in the reserves now. Um, but how much does that inspire you? Yeah, massively inspirational. I, I think it's energised all the runs so far. Um, you know, from, from the minute we start, um, to get the reg- regular updates has been incredible, and um, I know you you shouted out to me today. I said, you know, we we hit the mark, and although you didn't get much of a reaction, it's because we're really tired. But inside, just absolutely bouncing, just the fireworks going off. Um, just can't believe the support we have had for you know, obviously Rob and the family, but for the MND Association, it's absolutely wonderful, and um, we just can't thank people enough. The support has been incredible. Um, you know, to keep that tally, keep to see that tally keep ticking over is um, hugely inspiring for all our team, and we just want to do it as well as we can. Certainly, these next two days, we want to try and enjoy it, and uh, we'll we'll give it everything we've got. Great, great stuff, Kevin, and you've got our thanks from everyone in the, in the entire country, and a true inspiration, uh, as as is Rob. Uh, thank you all for for coming on. Thanks to Jen and Ian. And uh, Michaela and Eric, Tom and Oggy from Cass. Uh, this time tomorrow when we speak, Kev, it'll be six down, one to go. Can't wait. Can't <laughs> wait. <work. laughs>